Hi everyone, here is Alexander. It's very late, as you can see, and um, I decided to to make a prevention test and review on ISA Smart Security. This is the latest version, uh, version 4.2. I will show you that right now. There it is, 4.2, and uh, this is the main interface. It's pretty clear and easy to use interface and that's good for for novice users down here you have you can change to standard or advanced mode advanced mode offers more more um, options and um, let's go to to see some settings advanced setup Everything is very good configured by by default, but um, and you and you don't have really to change anything except one option, and uh, that is advanced heuristics on file execution. This is disabled by by default, and I will enable it. And it says enabling advanced heuristics may have an adverse effect on your computer performance, but I don't care about that. I only care about my security and um, here is the installer uh, installer is 44 megabytes and let's go to process explorer um, is it uses right now about 62 megs of RAM and um, it's only on 60 but um, that's not that's not that light for for security suite. This is the paid version. Uh, Iset also has no 32. I think uh, that is a free version. Uh, but this smart security version offers firewall and uh, anti-spam, unlike not 32. Okay. Um, over here I have 15 zero day links they are all, they are all from today and uh, let's start testing first one I'm running this oh I didn't uh, I didn't show you that uh, that is fully updated but it is trust me I updated it just two minutes ago and the first one is blocked and um, let's go to the next one this is fake antivirus um, I'm gonna save this and uh, rename it to load.exe see what happens it's downloading and it's blocked by ESET so far good next one I'm gonna run this file again and um, I see nothing from ESET so far it looks like it goes through so let's go to next one. Oh no it blocked it with delay and uh, that's good let's go to next one running this file and uh, he said cut it okay Again, I'm gonna save this file and rename it to that .exe and uh, it was blocked. So far, he said is very good. Perfect. I'm gonna run this file.
and um, it goes through. I'm pretty sure. And here's one TDSS. By the way, this software comes from Slovakia and um, the company was founded in 1992. I'm running this file and it was blocked by ESET. Okay, what was the last link? This one. Now I'm gonna run this. My best friend Michelle also used this software for a long time. It was blocked, okay. And uh, here's one rogue antivirus studio 2010. Let's see. This is their website, Antivirus Studio 2010. And I'm gonna download this and run. While this is downloading, I will move to next one. Load.exe, run this. And um, it blocks something, it looks like this one, this last one, it was blocked, okay. This antivirus studio is still downloading, I'm moving to the next one. <coughs> and um, it was cut by ESET, good. And this uh, antivirus studio was also blocked. Okay. Run this file. And blocked. Okay, very good. Very good. Here's one TDSS. Let's run this file. I will just continue. It won't copy. Hmm. I've seen this in some videos. It won't copy. Okay. I'm running this and it was blocked. Perfect. Let's try to copy this. This is TDSS. <coughs> and um, this one or this one was also blocked. Let's try to copy this. Okay. Running this <coughs> and blocked. I think this is perfect for for ESET let's take a look at the task manager here's one piece of malware over here okay next I'm gonna clean my temp files and I'm gonna run a smart scan with ESET and um, I'll be right back Okay everybody, ESET completed scanning and it didn't find anything, so um, I already updated Malwarebytes and I'm gonna run a quick scan and I'll be back with results. Okay people, I'm back and um, I just got this pop-up security tool installed and uh, I really don't know 
where did it come from probably from from the internet probably was downloaded by by this piece of malware and uh, here is another one on um, that it doesn't look good so I'm gonna well, let's see what um, what malware bytes found it found six infected objects memory process try and download uh, yeah this security tool was downloaded by this Trojan downloader Trojan dropper registry key in Windows and one memory process I will remove this all and uh, I will reboot this machine because there is a uh, malware in memory and um, I'll be back um, I will do a scan with Norton Power Eraser and uh, Hitman Pro and I'll be back uh, when it's done so see you in a second okay people I'm back and um, after I rebooted my machine uh, ESET blocked the security tool and that was very interesting because um, it let it to install five minutes ago or ten I don't know and uh, after five minutes it blocked it so that was kinda weird but um, anyway it blocked it so Hitman Pro found nothing uh, neither the H Norton Power Eraser and uh, I also did a scan with the uh, Super Anti Spiver, Spiver and uh, it found one infected object and that was um, in start menu this security tool okay so is it did very good job it missed only that Trojan downloader and um, that was one out of 15 or 16 and that was very good so if you have money you can buy it I mean is it smart security and um, thanks for watching and uh, please comment rate and subscribe and uh, see you soon bye bye